Hello, so you've got an iPhone and a Windows PC and wondering how to transfer files from iPhone to Windows PC. Don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'm gonna tell you different methods on how to share files from iPhone to Windows PC both wired and wirelessly. If you like the content and want to watch more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel Itlumi Subu. Without a further ado, let's get started. So there are two ways to transfer files from iPhone to Windows PC. They are wireless and wired. Wireless will use your Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and Wired will use your USB cable. Wireless is good for small files and quick sharing. Wired is good for bulk sharing and large files. So in this video, I'll tell you both methods, Wired and Wireless. First, let's see how can you share files from iPhone to Windows PC wirelessly. The best way to transfer files wirelessly is using an app called Intel Unison. So you can go to your Microsoft Store and search Unison. It will show you this app Intel Unison. Now you can install it first and then open it. So I already installed it, so let's open it. So when it opens, it shows like this. You should also install your Intel Unison app through App Store on your iPhone to use this. So now let's get started and click on add your phone. Now you can click here to get the mobile app. So it will show a QR code and you can scan it to download the app. So once you download and install the, install the app, you can scan this QR so that you can establish a connection between your iPhone and uh, this piece. So now I have already opened the app in my iPhone. It shows like this, ready to connect. So let me click on scan QR code and scan the code show it shows on my laptop. Now it will show this code, whether you, can, you have to confirm it so that it can establish a connection. So once we confirm, it starts connecting to your iPhone so that after some time, it will make the connection to your iPhone and then you can transfer files wirelessly very easily. Oh, I'm not sure why this error comes in my iPhone, but it shows like you cannot connect through Bluetooth. Okay, let's say skip it and see what it happens. I'm gonna skip here also. So it shows transfer files and in iPhone it shows continue. Now I can click on transfer files and then file transfer so it shows my iphone connected here so let's see if i can transfer so if you can see on my iphone i chose received and sent so let me see how can i send file from iphone to pc so i can click on this button here and it shows transfer to pc files gallery camera so let me try to send a file from iphone to pc it opens a folder called Intel Unison, so let's go back and then let's go. Let's see if I can send this ticket I have in my iPhone to my Windows PC. So I say I select this and I click open. Wow, I got the file in my PC. Now we will see three different ways in which you can share files from iPhone to Windows PC through USB cable which is faster and better. In the first method, we can directly connect our iPhone to the Windows PC through USB cable. So let's do it now. Charging. So whenever I connect my iPhone to the PC, it shows something like this. Allow this device to access photos and videos. Now we have to click allow. When you click allow on your Windows PC, it shows Apple iPhone under this PC and then it shows internal storage. When you click on internal storage, it shows all these folders. These folders are created or arranged based on year and month. For example, it's 2021 and 1. It means the folder uh, has the photos and videos of the year 2021 and month 1, so January. And when you open certain folder, you can see all the pictures and things inside this folder. So the only drawback for this method is you can only find the photos and videos which are on your iPhone. So you can just click on a folder and copy a picture and then paste it any other folder. It works. But the drawback is you can only copy photos and videos and not any files. In the second method, you have to use an app called iTunes from Apple. So go to your Microsoft store and search iTunes. It will show this app iTunes from uh, Apple Incorporated. So let's now install it. The app is installed now. Uh, let's open it. So 
so when it opens it shows like this all the podcasts and music etc now we have to log into our apple account now i have to log into this itunes app through my apple id and password i have logged into this itunes app using my apple id and password so now let's connect my iphone to the pc using usb cable and see if it if the iphone shows in my itunes app charging so now i have connected my iphone through usb cable but in my itunes app it doesn't show anything wow i don't know why let's see if there's any way i can get my iphone to show up in this itunes app I don't think so. Let me try once again. Charging. So my iPhone doesn't show up in this iTunes app. I think it's a bug because I have connected my iPhone through USB cable to this laptop, but still it doesn't show up here. I think this method doesn't work as expected for me. So you guys can try if it works it's fine but if it doesn't work let's see next method The third and best method is to use an app called Apple devices so this is also from Apple only so go to your Microsoft store and uh, search Apple and it will show different apps but you can click on this app called Apple devices and install it I have already installed it so let's open it. Whenever we open this app it shows like this it shows like connect your iPhone. So let me now connect my iPhone and see what it shows. Charging. So as soon as I connect my iPhone through the USB cable in Apple devices app it shows everything. Whatever my iPhone model and how much storage is available what is the charging percentage and which software i'm using etc everything so this is the best app to use if you are if you are using iphone but don't have a mac so through this app you can share photos files videos and also you can watch movies tv shows everything you can also update your os or you can also download your os using this apple device app so this app is the best for everything because the iTunes app doesn't work for me as i shown before so now let's see how can you transfer files from iPhone to Windows PC using this Apple devices app so you can see here there are different options let's click on files so the catch here is it shows different apps from where you can transfer files so what you can do is in your iPhone whatever files you want to share to your laptop you can just save those files in your uh, files app in particular app folder so now you see when i click chrome it doesn't show any files because on my iphone i don't have any files in this folder so let me do one thing i will copy a file from my iphone to this folder so whenever i connect to this app it it shows that file so this is my files app on my iphone as you can see it shows different folders now let me go to on my iphone and there are these folders are what are showing in this app on my laptop so as you can see so there is a folder called chrome but there are no files in this so let me do one thing let me take a file and save in this folder so i have this file which is a newspaper now i'm going to save this in chrome folder so click on save to files and on my iphone search chrome and i am saving this file in this chrome folder done so now i have saved this file in chrome folder so in my iphone when i click chrome so there is this file in this folder now let's see if this folder is shown in apple devices app in this chrome folder so now let me click on files and click on chrome wow so this file is shown in this folder in this app so now if i want to save this file to my laptop i can just click on it and click save here and give give it the path desktop and save it that's all your file will be saved in whichever folder you want on your pc this is the most effective method and thanks for watching